let's go ahead and shoot some projectiles. All right, we found us back in Unity once more, and in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at projectiles. Now, this is going to happen in a completely new and pretty much empty scene over here. I just have two asteroids that we're going to be able to shoot. Now, why are we in space when we're using a ballista? I don't know, but I feel like there have been crazier things. So for this, I have a bolt and a shooting ballista right here for the sprites. Uh, I want you to pay close attention to the credits in this case. So they have a little bit of a different texture than usual. Usually they're almost always under Creative Commons zero. So basically public domain. This one in this case does not. So it has a couple of other licenses. So just be aware of that if you want to use that in your own projects. And we need to do some changes. So the shooting ballista, as you can see, actually also already has some animation associated with it. We're not going to add animations at this time, but next time the pixels per unit are going to be 128. There's going to be multiple ones and we want the filter mode on point. Hit apply and go to the sprite editor. We want to slice this and we want to slice this by the size right here. And the size is 128 by 128. That is going to slice this perfectly. I'm going to hit apply and now we have six individual textures instead of one texture. You can hit apply and then when you open this, you can see. So then we can take the shooting ballista and just add this to our hierarchy. And for example, size this up to three by three. And I'm going to situate it right here because what we're going to do is we're going to use this. We're going to be able to rotate around with the look at script that we've already created. And we'll be able to fire a singular bolt right here. So for the bolt, this is a single texture, 128 though. And once again on point. Apply that and there you go. We can add the bolt down on the ballista over here and we're going to situate this at 0, 0. You can see it's a little small, right? It should be probably sized up a little bit. So 1, 1 and 1. I feel like that is not the worst idea and maybe something like this. Now, as I've said in the first iteration of this, we're not going to have any animations. We're just going to be able to fire this singular bolt and then the bolt is gone and then we'll continue working with this a little bit. So as I said, the first step is going to be the look at script. So we're gonna just going to create a new C sharp script and we're going to call this the ballista look at that's going to be okay for the look at we just need a camera right here and then in the start method we're going to say camera dot camera dot main there you go and then for the update I will be copying the code over. This is going to be available to you in the description in a singular gist. So the Ballista look at is going to be available to you and all of the rest of the code, all of that available. We've already basically had this in the how to make a game object look at the mouse. And to see the result over here, let's just get the shooting Ballista right here. And let's add the Ballista look at script. And if I go in here, you will be able to see... Now the ballista exactly looks at my mouse position and we even have, well, basically where it looks at. We can also turn this off by using the gizmo. So we basically have a possibility of turning this ballista around. And now if I left click with a mouse, I want to fire the bolt. Now for this, again, another C sharp script. This is going to be the ballista shoot or ballista shooting. It's, I mean, either one is totally fine. Let's just make sure that the ballista already has this script attached to it. And then let's open it and see what we can do. So for this, in this instance where we have one bolt, we're going to shoot the bolt and then it's basically gone. We're just going to make a serialized field of a private game object. We're going to call this the fired bolt here in this case. This is going to be the bolt that we're actually going to fire. The way that we're going to fire this is not with the start method, but with the update method. So we're going to say... If input.getMouse down zero, this is exactly right, then we want to shoot. So for this, we're going to make a custom method. We're going to call this the private void shoot method, which is going to basically shoot. So we're going to just going to add this here. So calling this when we click the left mouse button. And it's going to, first of all, take the fired bolt and it's going to transform.parent and set that to null. Because right now, the parent of the bolt, right, is actually the ballista itself, as you can see. And we basically want to separate it from it. This will almost already work. We now have to just drag the bolt right in here. Or alternatively, if you don't want to utilize the inspector for this, what you can do is you can say, hey, if the fired bolt is equal to null, basically it doesn't have anything, then we can say fired bolt is equal to transform.getChild0.GameObject, basically setting the fired bolt to the first child of this particular game object. And if we take a look, this game object, the first child is going to be the bolt. So this is exactly going to set the bolt right here. You can even see this in the inspector. If I now start, none is going to turn into the bolt right here. And if I now click, you can see the bolt now no longer being attached to my ballista, basically also no longer rotating. But however, are we going to fire this? Well, once again, there's a couple of options, right? For the bolt itself, we could add a rigid body, we could add a collider, and then via the ballista, we could add a force. Now, what I actually want to do is I want the game object of the bolt to rotate around 
the way that it's moving. So it should always face the way that it's moving. And the easiest way to facilitate this is to actually make a custom script for the bolt itself. So we're going to make a custom script. We're going to call this the bolt projectile. When I add it right here, we also will need a box collider and we will also need a rigid body 2D. For the rigid body, we're just going to make the this continuous and it's going to never sleep. We will keep the gravity as well as the mass because in this case, I actually want the gravity to go down. Does it make sense in space? I mean, we have a ballista in space, so it doesn't really matter that much. And for the box collider, I definitely don't want it to be this big. I actually want this to be quite small, all things considered. I want this to be even smaller because I only want the tip of the spear or the bolt to actually be sort of the thing that collides with things. So let's just try to set this up correctly. This is maybe going to be like a 2.5. 2.25. That's gonna be awesome. So now the tip of the spear can collide with our cool asteroids right here that have a circle collider attached to them. So that's gonna be pretty awesome indeed. And we can now change the bolt script right here. We can add a couple of things. So the first one is going to be a private rigid body 2D. It's gonna be our rigid body 2D right here. There you go. And we're also going to add a private bool called fired just so that it basically knows whether or not it's fired itself or not. The rigid body 2D is going to just get the component 2D. And in the start method, we're immediately going to set the gravity scale to not one, but zero because while the bolt projectile is attached to the ballista, we actually don't want gravity to affect it, which should make a lot of sense. Then we don't need an update method, but what we do need is a fix update method right here. So we don't need an update method, but we do need the fixed update method. And here we're basically asking, hey, if we are fired, right, only if we're fired, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a similar thing to the ballista look at. I'm going to actually turn into the direction that I'm moving into. So for this, what we can do is we can actually copy the angle in radians, the angle in degrees and the rotation right here. And we could reuse them instead of pointing to the mouse position where I actually want to point is I want to point to the rigid body 2D dot velocity dot x and then here I want to point to rigid body dot velocity dot y basically meaning I'm actually always turning into the direction of my velocity so the ballista bolt is always going to point into the direction where it's going pretty awesome then I'm going to make a public void shoot method which we're going to call from the ballista shooting and that is going to do a couple of things. Number one, it's going to actually turn the gravity scale up to one again. This is going to be where we add the force. The force is going to be transform.up times 10, let's say. And we want to do this as an impulse. So it's basically going to be an impulse force up. And the up direction should be the same direction that the spear tip is towards, which should make a lot of sense. And we can also set fired equal to true, which is also quite important so that it then starts to change its rotation here. And then I want to override the on collision enter 2D method over here because in this case, exactly right, I want to set fired to false because this would happen when we, let's say, hit an asteroid. I then want to also say rigid body 2D dot velocity should be immediately set to vector 2.0. So it's basically going to be immediately zero. We're going to make this kinematic so that it can no longer do anything. We'll also get the component box collider 2D here in this case. And I want to set enabled to false so that the actual collider is false. And then I just want to move this up the tiniest bit. So I just want to get the position and plus equals transform that up and just move this by like the tiniest bit over here so that it looks if it's stuck inside of the asteroid. And that's actually the entire script. As always, of course, all of this is available to you in the description below. Get a repository or even a gist. And this is almost it. In the ballista shooting, we now just need to call the shoot method as well. So in the fired bolt, we're going to get the component, which is the bolt projectile, and we're going to call the shoot method over this. And there you go. Now it's going to shoot the bolt. And is this actually going to work? Well, let's take a look. So let's see. I can move this about. And if I click, you can see all of a sudden it is going. Now there's definitely something wrong with the rotation over here. Let's take another look at this. So the rotation, there is probably an issue with the offset right here. So here the offset is by 90 degrees. That's actually not the issue. The issue actually is that the A10 over here, of course, takes first the Y and then the X value over here. That is going to be the issue. Pretty easy to miss because obviously usually you get X and then Y. But here with the A10 2, it is of course Y divided by X. That's a very easy mistake to make, but luckily we caught it early and we can see now it's going exactly totally right. Awesome. Look at this. That is pretty freaking cool. This needs to be setting kinematic to true so that it no longer moves at all. And now we should be able to see 
that if I fire it and it's going to hit this... No, I mean, I have to hit then. <laughs> okay, we're gonna hit this, then you will see, there you go. And now it is rotating in space forever, which is of course kind of an interesting thing. But that is going to be a singular bolt right here. A couple of other things that we can do, if you can see, if I sh if I click this again, it's going to continue to shoot, which is, of course, definitely not something we want to do. You could guard against this with a couple of things. For example, we could make a private bool called shooting. Shooting, right, which is going to be set to true if we or are already shooting. So we can, for example, say... If the mouse button is down and we are not shooting, then we can shoot. And then here in the shoot method, we're just going to set this equal to true. And then all of a sudden, we can no longer shoot after this. It's a pretty straightforward thing. Very basic programming in this case. So if we shoot, I can click the left mouse button as often as I want. And it's not going to fire again. Awesome. But only having one bolt is kind of boring. So next time in this video, we'll talk about prefabs and how we can reload this awesome ballista. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.